Okay, thanks, Dad. I got it from here. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> This is a steel combi system. You can put a blower on it. You can put a, and the motor will do a weed eater, a bunch of other cool things. Ooh, man, makes a mess on your deck, too. <laughs> What'd you say there, Dad? I can see you from this side. So if I plunge to my death, you can call 911? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> nice view from up here. Hmm. Hey, Mink Toes, this is Vention. <laughs> I'm just uh, doing a little maintenance on the house. You gotta blow these gutters out every so often. It's uh, something to keep the roof from soaking up and, uh, and leaking and rotting. Got to protect my investment, you know. Yeah, um, just wanted to uh, say I saw Migto is Freedom's video this morning, and I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. I mean, he, he is one heck of a Migto. I wish, wish I could be more like him. <laughs> the way he, uh, hey, look at that. Looks like someone else is up on the roof of their house. <laughs> anyway, um, he's a very impressive MIGTO. He's a prepper like I am, and he's a MIGTO. And uh, geez, the only thing he's not is a Bitcoiner. <laughs> um, I'm, it's kind of unfortunate that uh, he, he thinks uh, so negatively of Bitcoin, like it's some kind of Ponzi scheme or something, but... Uh, but basically, um, you know, you can't be on board in everything with everybody. <laughs> so, um, but I just wanted to mention uh, something that's coming down the pipe for us Bitcoin people. And that is, uh, that is the, um, we've got what they call the user activated soft fork coming. Peanut shell. And basically, uh, it's... Uh, it's a situation where uh, over the last over the last year, two, three, the um, China, the miners in China, the Bitcoin miners in China, have uh, have discovered a uh, a way of mining Bitcoins for like 30% electric less electricity. They call it they call it ASIC boost, and it basically uh, allows them to. Uh, it allowed them to solidify and pretty much centralize control of uh, Bitcoin mining in China because of their special trade secret advantage. And uh, when Segregated Witness came up, uh, was offered by the, uh, by the uh, people who program Bitcoin, um, they basically uh, really started dragging their feet, although they, they mouthed good things about it. They... Uh, they're, they were just lies, and they have just been, uh, they've just been uh, really dragging their feet and just, uh, and, and it caused a huge loss of confidence in the Bitcoin network. And re you remember me, I imagine, uh, when I panicked and I sold half my Bitcoins um, because I was panicking and they, there was no reason stated reason reasonable reason for them to act the way they were <laughs> my dad's munching on our raspberries <laughs> there was no reason for them to act the way they were acting um, until i mean it and it was not obvious why they were doing what they were doing until asic boost was discovered by one of the uh one of the big bitcoin programmers um they basically pulled the software off one of their mining machines and disassembled it. And, and they discovered that uh, ASIC Boost, which had only been a theory up until then, was a real fact on those, <laughs> on those machines. 
so they basically um, they, so now it's understood why um, why they were acting so unreasonably and uh, and basically uh, that allowed us as users to to take action and one of the users who programmed uh, uh, an update uh, to Bitcoin called the BIP 148 or the user activated soft fork those people um, I mean that guy he basically created a node a full node that you could run on Bitcoin the Bitcoin network and as of August 1st it will refuse all non segregated witness transactions um, and that will basically if there's enough of us there will be um, the, that will force segregated witness uh, into the network unless the uh, the Chinese miners uh, basically uh, have some kind of response um, so what we're seeing here is a situation where right now there really aren't enough of us to uh, to activate the user activated soft fork reliably and it's possible quite possible that we could fail at this and if that happens then the miners will get what they call something they something they've been trying to do for years which is to fire the core developers of Bitcoin and basically eliminate them from from power and centralize control of both the programming of Bitcoin as well as the mining of Bitcoin in China <laughs> and I would not be surprised at all if the um, Chinese government the serious super elites uh, over there um, are actually taking action to uh, to uh, subvert and and take over Bitcoin that's what that's what these elites do whenever there's some an innovation that produces real value they they either buy it or they kill whoever it is that runs it or owns it for example all these patents that that are patented and then suddenly disappear um, and the reason is because if there's something that disrupts their profit motive their prof their business model um, they will do anything they have no morality <laughs> they will do anything to to break that control break that competition first the easiest way of doing it is to to buy them off right and uh, and it, and they have such economic power that they do it all the time and people like they come up with a new type of battery or a, uh, a new process of doing anything that would disrupt their model uh, then they turn around and purchase it and then hide the information and uh, and then the public doesn't get access to that innovation um, but basically what we're seeing here is an attempt it's been it's been done many times before with Bitcoin XT Bitcoin unlimited um, and then Bitcoin classic all they're putting they're creating or bashing together all of these all of these clients to attempt to uh, to basically fire the Bitcoin developers and centralize and take the power of updating the Bitcoin software take that power away from the core developers and and if they do that uh, they basically own Bitcoin and then they can they can run it right into the freaking ditch <clears throat> they can uh, they can do anything they can centralized control just like Mike Hearn wanted to do that Benedict Arnold who was freaking out about uh, saying Bitcoin was a failure back in 2015 I think it was and um, back when the price was like two hundred dollars and he, he stomped away in a huff and uh, is no longer part of the Bitcoin community then he started working for the bankers until that project went belly up but anyway um, so what I'm saying is, uh, in a word, is that Bitcoin, any, any, of, any of us MIGTO who, are, who value Bitcoin and, and, and can really see what it will do for us in the future, um, we really need to take care of Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin needs our help. 
we've got a situation where they're going to try to uh, centralize control and we have got to resist and the tools necessary to resist are actually available right now and that is the uh, user activated soft fork and I am really asking you guys a favor I know I have no right to ask a favor because I don't make videos that often nowadays <laughs> but I am really asking <laughs> we really need some people to help us run this or run or add numbers to the user activated soft fork side of the Bitcoin network and in order to do that all you need to do is just download the software and I'll put a link in the uh, in the description and then it'll take then as soon as you fire up that uh, software uh, it will take like a couple of days to download the blockchain because it's like it's like 25 gigabytes long and um, and downloading it uh, it's not a priority for the network clients um, so the result is you don't download very fast um, but then once you get that download you can then uh, you can then be processing transaction and transactions and your voice and your weight will be added to the uh, to the soft fork um, and then basically, uh, then basically we will, uh, we'll be able to, uh, make this thing happen and we'll have a choice or a chance to resist the, uh, elites. I think it's the elites, the, the people who own pretty much everything. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I think it's their, uh. I think it's their influence which is causing this so it's it's a the only way we can resist these people is with force and we are uh, and using the user activated soft fork is a form of force on the network and basically uh, it is really really necessary if this fails we might get what they their their pathetic offering of of a client called uh, Segwit 2x or something like that and it's another attempt to just take uh, take control of the network and subvert it and centralize it under Chinese control and it's not really just the Chinese it's a certain elite of China um, I am strongly sus suspecting it's their mo it's their it's their mo they do this shit all the time <laughs> uh, they are going to uh, attempt to centralize control and we have got to resist and I've got a uh, BIP 148 node running on my kitchen table right now on an old laptop and uh, it is critical that there are more of us because I think only 13 percent of the network is uh, is actually uh, force enforcing segregated witness so um, so if we if we can get enough people I think it's I'm not sure what the numbers are, but I, I'm sure that even among my subscribers, um, there are easily enough <laughs> to people to overwhelm this, this, uh, the resistance to uh, the user activated software. And then, man, once we get SegWit in, dudes, we will be able to transfer money in, in seconds and with fees that are just like almost zero and once we get the lightning network and then the lightning network is just the beginning there are so many things you can add on to bitcoin once uh once the uh segregated witness is installed man it is it's like a revolution so uh, i i am asking you guys <laughs> whoever has a spare laptop or even a spare uh like your you leave for work and nobody uses your computer dude if you can if you can download the uh the bip 148 client you are you are adding a lot to uh to freedom in the world and if if you can't if you can't manage it we're just we're gonna hope that it's enough but uh every little bit helps so uh yeah i will put a link in the description on how to uh download a BIP 148 node and I'll see about I wonder I'll look around for some videos on how to install it maybe I can link that as well okay guys I'm out of here I'm about to
fire up the grill and do the 4th of July barbecue. Good times.